Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another DIY Sunday. I am so sorry that I missed like last Sunday. I needed to go on like a social media cleanse. Last week I felt like I was like just overwhelmed doing all sorts of DIYs for this and that channel and I was just like, you know what? I need time to myself. And so I did and I felt great. So I am back with another fun project for you guys and today we are making some wall art. So the other day I was just like, you know what? I have all these awesome cool artwork but I have nowhere to put them. I'm just like a very eclectic person. I like all sorts of stuff. I don't like one particular style. So I was kind of at a loss for a moment because I was like, oh my god, I like vintage. Oh my god, I like retro. Oh my god, I like, you know, um, pop art. What the heck do I do? I was just like, you know what? Let me put them all on the wall. And I really like how they turn out. I also felt like I was missing, you know, a few elements and a dynamic touch here and there. So I made my own art and I really love how it turned out. So today we are going to be doing that. Let's get started. For materials, you will need frames or shadow boxes complete with glass. Fabrics and colors or prints you love, you can also paint the backing of your frame. Vinyl decal paper, you can also use already made decals or stickers. Another option we will be playing around with is a stencil. For that, you will need some craft paint, brushes, and repositionable adhesive. All of these materials are actually things I already own. However, you can find these at your local craft store. The first step is to take apart the picture frame. Take the backing paper and use it as a template. Trace the shape on your fabric with a pencil. So once that's done, go ahead and cut out your shape. Next, iron out any wrinkles or fold line on your fabric. To prevent the fabric from sliding as you mount it, use a little bit of glue around the edges. You can also use a spray adhesive for a seamless surface Once everything looks good, go ahead and reassemble the frame. Alright, so now we are on to the graphic design part. You can do it either one or two ways. You can buy sticker decals or make your own. I actually have a step-by-step -step detailed tutorial on how to make your own decals. If you want to see that, then make sure to click on this video right here. So I would just go over this briefly with you guys in this video. If you want more detailed information, then make sure to check out that tutorial on how to make your own decals. All right, so what I basically did is trace out or draw out my design onto a sticky vinyl paper, then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. I would suggest for you to start off with the really simple designs before moving on to the intricate ones. The Eiffel Tower actually took forever to cut out, but it was well worth it. To smoothly apply the decal, run a line of masking tape down the center, then apply the decal sticker one side at a time. This method I'm using is called the hinge technique, which is used by professional sign maker. It will prevent the sticker decal from sticking together and bubbling up. You can learn this technique in my decal DIY video. When starting off, I suggest for you to start with more simple designs just like this text design right here which turned out amazing. You can also challenge yourself by finding more intricate designs and I will post this Eiffel Tower design on my blog lifeinstyle.com. So here's a really cute and simple way on how to make your own sticker. So with the vinyl sticky paper, all I did was buy a butterfly shape puncher and I punched out a whole bunch of little butterflies so that way I can use this as my design. If you can't find vinyl paper or want a different look, try using a paint and stencil. There are so many different kinds of stencil designs out there to choose from. Choose a stencil that you like and after cleaning both the glass and stencil of dust, spray on some sticky template adhesion to the back of your stencil. Let that settle for at least 60 seconds or so in order for the adhesive to become tacky. Now it's time to stick it onto your glass surface and seal the edges down. Take out your brush and dab on the paint. Try to resist brushing it as it can cause the paint to bleed through. After painting your coat, peel off the template before the paint dries. This should be fun as you can mix other template designs or colors on top of each other. Making these frames is such a great way to express and display your creativity. I love the eclectic and colorful art on my wall and I hope you will enjoy making yours.
Alrighty guys, so that is it. I hope you guys like this video. Also, don't forget to thumbs up if you do. And let me know which one is your favorite artwork. I am still doing the monthly giveaway. So if you guys are not familiar with my monthly giveaway, I have all the details on the bottom of this video. And I think that is pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys next week. Bye. Ciao. Au revoir. Adios.